Oh, hi. All right, so this video was supposed to be about how to add these kinds of documents into SAP. And we have the code for it. It's literally here. If you watch the previous episodes where we connected and disconnected from a sub company. So connect, disconnect. Now we also added the sales order that code is still the same, but now we're doing this bit here where if the sales order addition is successful, we also add a linked down payment invoice and an incoming payment. This is usually useful if um, you have an integration with SAP that downloads from a web shop the orders and you want to also capture the payment straight into SAP against two additional documents, a linked down payment invoice and an incoming payment. And you have all the code here. It's free to access and download on GitHub description in the video uh, description. So this is how you add a down payment invoice, set up the header, the lines, and then the incoming payment. For the incoming payment, you get to choose the uh, GL account. And the rest of it is pretty much the same, connect and disconnect. That's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye. Oh, no, 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 no. Actually, I hope you're still here. If you want to quickly access all of these code samples, they're free to download. You can go to store.corexyz.com and you will find more and more examples for free. The entire C Sharp code and the connection with the SAP API, the DI API for that matter. And uh, this is where things will get uh, posted and added. All right, then now it's bye. Bye.